hey guys welcome to my channel my name is winifred dog cooper and before i get into this video i like to say please don't forget to like this video share this video comment and subscribe <laughs> On today's episode we'll be talking about how to move out of your parents house this video was inspired by co-worker i'm going to keep her anonymous so we had this conversation and then she was asking me how to effectually move out the first step to moving out of your parents house is first of all deciding that you actually want to leave you have to decide that you are tired of staying there you want a certain level of leverage and freedom for yourself you decided that even if they stop giving you your monthly income you can find a way on your own which means that you have to also think of other sources of income other than your parents that is the first step deciding that you want to leave the second step is now finding a second source of income other than your parents making your parents your go-to just in case all hell breaks loose they wouldn't be the only ones you have did you get that what i mean is you have to have another source of income your parents would be like an emergency fund if you get sick beyond basic pharmacist care and you need to be in the hospital then your parents can come in if for nothing you get into any accident or something that needs bulk money then you can run but you need another source of income other than your parents for your day-to-day -day care the third step to moving out of your parents house is now saving money now you've developed an extra source of income you now need to gather up the money gotten from profit gotten from this extra source of income you need to gather it up and store it the more you save the more your likelihood of eventually moving out save money now does not just mean that you are it entails it moving out entails a lot you need to save it depends on the states you're actually moving to or whatever country it is you're moving to or even if it's within like the immediate environment you still have to save up money because renting a place and then putting things inside the place you need money and it also depends on when you want to move out if you plan to move out by the end of this year i'm pretty sure by now we should have at least 70 percent of the actual rent i did not say actual money you need i said the actual rent meaning that the remaining 30 percent and then the money you would need to furnish the place you already have plans to get it by the end of this year in order to move out before the end of this year after you get your rent money you will still need an extra at least 40 percent of what you have as your rent in order to fully furnish the house basically with a bed kitchen accessories and painting and maybe other repairs that the place might come with the third for the fourth thing you will need to do after you eventually save the rent if your parents i'm assuming that your parents are ones that you can actually sit down with and tell that you eventually need to move out of your parents house typically people wait until when they are going for nysc they have a new job or generally something exactly that will warrant them actually moving out of their parents house. maybe after uni they, ref they refuse to come back home and they just stay where they are or sometimes nyc takes them away from their state and they decide to stay back or they get a job in another state and then they eventually move out those are the circumstances but if let's say these circumstances do not avail this, themselves in your case and you really want to move out then you should sit your parents down and have a conversation with them where you tell them of your desire to move out if your parents are not one to be reasoned with or they are strict african parents that try to enforce their reasoning on you then i would say since you already have your savings you can eventually proceed to pay for the rent without telling them bearing in mind that paying the rent without telling them is going to definitely come with its consequences so i hope you're willing to bear with it consequences such as your dad might 
decide to be stubborn and he will decide not to help you in eventually furnishing the place so if you're going to be doing that you have to make sure that you have a ton of money available and your resources are not going to run dry if you do that so yes you should actually consider like whether or not you have enough money to fund where you're headed if you cannot fund it exactly then you should have a sit down talk with your parents and agree on when they feel like it is time for you to move on move out but if you if you've talked to them and they are not giving you any dates or any time that they feel like or they are not willing to loosen up the rules that are making you want to move out then you can proceed and just rent a place yourself and find your way around it a house like i've said in my previous videos about moving to your own place i would say it again moving to your own place is not a one day thing you don't furnish i've never seen anybody that even the richest people do not furnish their house in one day they don't even furnish their house in two days because Furnishing a place, you have to make decisions, tiny decisions that eventually turn up to one big decision. You might want to color code your room. You might want to get specific type of furniture or specific type of appliances for your house that might not be available at the day you go to the store. So, generally speaking, furnishing a place cannot happen even in a week most times. It takes two to three weeks, especially if you're going to order or you're going to outsource most of your materials that being said after you rent your place go and watch my other videos i think that would should cover up for moving out of your parents house i have about two videos i have a part one and a part two on moving out of your parents house concerning the furnishing and every other thing that concerns it i hope you like this video i hope you sh share this video thank you so much for continually inspiring me and giving me ideas on topics to talk on i would appreciate if you also would also appreciate if you contact me any of my social media handles giving me ideas on what you want me to talk about giving me ideas on just generally inspiration on what you'd want to hear me say or what you want to hear me talk about and i promise to research on it and eventually give you my candid opinion and feedback or generally if you have any questions or any suggestions or anything at all i would appreciate or recommendations or criticisms anyone at all thank you so much for supporting this channel and i'll come your way again next week don't forget to like share and subscribe i still remain winifred dr see you again <laughs>